Hello world, I'm Glocarp. Welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces. We're playing here with the aggressive deck and we're going for the final mission. So let's see if we can defeat the, the ancient... Oh, I gotta remove an enhance. I forgot this at the beginning of the la uh, well, at the end of the last episode. It goes like this. We're gonna get rid of Lean Decker. We don't need money for anything anymore. Uh, so let's head over here and yeah, see if we can beat the ancient Agent Eleven. Because we are the modern Agent Eleven. Okay, we got 36 cards in our deck. That's a lot of cards. And I think only two of them. Oh. We immediately started with the Undermine, so let's just Undermine. Uh, and then we'll just... Uh, dodge. Well, you know, I'm gonna do the Stun Dart here. Once again, just to show that Stun works differently than Bleed in this game, which I think is kind of silly. He's got 8. Block. And... If that was a bleeding thing, he would have started bleeding right now. Since it wasn't, he didn't start bleeding. Okay, we're gonna shift over here. We got the dodge on, so we're not gonna take this damage, which is the reason we put it on. Let's also actually just pull you next to us for that one combo. Gotta get that combo rolling. Okay, so he's gonna push this turn, uh, which means that we're gonna have to slip over here. We're gonna steal self, we're gonna counter grapple, we're gonna hook kick this guy. Uh, and then we're also gonna root down, so we don't actually get pushed. Which... No, oh, he get pushed. He got pushed. Okay, this is uh, the dangerous turn. He's just summoning a new dude, but he's got two range counter attack. So we most definitely don't really want to do anything about that. Actually, yes we do. What we want to do is we're gonna wanna dash over here. Oh, should have quick struck, quick struck this guy first. We're gonna hammer fist this fella to increase our combo counter, and then we're gonna 540 kick. Cause do you have no? You don't have dodge right now. Yeah, cause you can't counter diagonally, so we're gonna get some damage in there. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to go that way. Oh my god, Undermine is powerful. I didn't even think about this turn. Holy crap. Well, so we're just gonna root down. We're gonna front kick this guy so he won't hit us. And then we're just gonna j- Didn't I remove the jab from my dick? I thought I did. Well, apparently I didn't. And then we're gonna turn on the surprise attack. And, okay, we're, I, actually, is he gonna go? We're dealing 26 damage, uh, 15, 20, okay, he's not g going to get the, is he? No, what, what, that was a strange angle. Try, words, words are hard sometimes. Okay, yeah, but the uncontrolled power! It's just gonna finish uh, this fight here. Yeah, we're do we don't need a new card. Ooh, change tech. Move up to two tiles. I'm gonna take this. Cause once again, like, uh, I'm gonna. I what I want to see is, uh, does this decrease our combo? Uses co like we need to have combo to do this, and it's a special. It's not a movement card, so it's a special. So it might be useful here. And what is the last level? It was the hold. Is the hold the thing that has the thing in the middle? Because that's. I'd say the most difficult uh, last arena, if that is, is that. Okay, oh, can't. Can't esk through that. So, this is your I'm gonna hit you turn. Oh, okay, we have a dash. Okay, standard you. And just gonna quick strike. And hook, kick. And front, kick. And then I'm gonna see. So our combo is at four. If we change tech, okay, it does uh, eat our combo. Just wanted to know that. Okay, we're gonna have to shift. Luckily, our shift is upgraded, and I think that eats your dodge. Yeah, shifting through is dodge, which is kind of weird. Uh, we're gonna get hit by this 
guy, I think. Uh, no, we're not, because we're gonna steal self. Left. Oh, really should have just done the left spin kick first and then steal self. Because that would have left the steel cell for the flash kick. Then again, the jumping back kick will just get us to the next phase. So, apparently it didn't matter. Okay, wall kick preparation. I mean, preparation... Preparation is a good card for these end battles. That, like, that one dodge is just... Uh, sometimes that one dodge is all you need. Okay, now just give me steel self and uncontrolled power in the starting hand, and we can just uh, get straight to the next thing. Okay, well, I am gonna pull this guy closer. And I'm gonna shove him. Mm, I'm gonna shove you. And I'm gonna hammer fist you. And then, so this guy. Advances when player uses a movement card. We're gonna use the linking move, which increases our combo by one. So it actually does increase our combo by one. We're gonna go to four here. But since it wasn't a movement card, this guy is going to still shoot his boss here. Well, his boss is gonna hit him first, and then his boss is gonna he's gonna shoot him. So yeah, that's why those cards are good. Well, let's give and get and. Slip and well, we're gonna have to waste uncontrolled power over here, but that's fine. I th think the other cards will have enough damage to finish this. Yeah, jumping back kick is 22 damage by itself, so that's almost all we needed. So, yeah, let's just go for the next phase then. Oh, recall! I was talking about recall earlier in the run one of the earlier episodes. Yeah, I see absolutely no reason why we wouldn't take Recall. Like, we have that massive amount of momentum, so Recall is just, well, pick any card you've played already. Okay, now game. Stop me with Rising Strength. Rising Strength, come on. Give me Rising Strength. Give me Rising Strength. It gave me Rising Strength. Nice. Okay. Uh, Rising Strength. Uncontrolled power! Free punch combo. We're gonna palm strike you as well. Oh, that's, yeah, that's basically the best start for our damage we could have. So I'm happy. Uh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna shift here. We're gonna left spin kick to get a dodge away. We're gonna flash kick. And then hammer fist. And then I'm gonna see if dodging dodges th this attack. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, it does. Okay. That is interesting. Oh the big guy. Well big guy, uh we're just gonna put you over there. Turn on the give and get, and hook kick you in the back. Okay, what are you doing this turn? Uh, you're summoning a grunt. Okay, please summon the guy with the stick. Yes, you summon the guy with the stick, nice. Because as far as I understand, he can summon either one of these guys. And if he summons this guy, it makes me happier. Do we have a slip here? We do have a slip here. You don't turn, that's good. Ooh, you moved. <sighs> Uh, okay, you go first, right, so if we just jump punch you, you don't die. Uh, if we kill you, we're gonna jolt here. I mean, we could shove you to death. Uh, you're doing a total of, what is three times, this has 20, okay, two root downs will protect us. Oh, and you only have, you only have one range with this attack, right? So we just shove this guy, he's dead, and we're not in range. Okay, we're not threatened here, so we'll just steal self and go for next turn. We're probably gonna be stuck in the corner there now. No? Alright, because you have two range with your current attack. So we're just gonna pull, can we pull you? Okay, we can't pull you. 
Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we're just gonna slip here. And yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. I could have slipped. Oh, my, why was. I could have slipped here. I'm like, we have the defense here. We have preparation in our hand. I could have just slipped there and done some damage in. Oh well. And we even had a jab in our hand, so we most definitely would have had all the momentum we needed. Okay. Uh, we're gonna double jump kick here. Uh, one's gonna hit the dodge, the second's gonna hit. So dealing that 50 damage in, I'm quite pleased. Uh, we're gonna surprise attack. Uh, I don't want you to be next to me, so I'm gonna front kick you out of here. And then I'm gonna jumping back kick the boss. I'm gonna ponder away the shift and hope for some good attacks. Well, that's recall. Let's see which of our attack cards does the most damage. Uh, three times 20, 27, 57, uh, 47. Three times 20 is still the most damage. So yeah, we're gonna take that. We're gonna three punch combo you. We're gonna do something silly here, which is we're gonna count. Oh, you, no wait, I, you can't be grappled. And we're gonna take Rude down, because we're next to him. I want to know if we'll counter this attack. I probably check this er before. Yeah, okay. So we're not gonna counter that attack. Okay. Just wanted to be absolutely sure. Uh, seems to me like the front kick will just kill you. So that's what I'm gonna do. You can't counter if you're dead. Yep. Gonna undermine everyone here. Uh, the 540 kick will kill both of these guys. And was that enough? No, okay, we still gotta kill this guy. Oh, the stun dart will just do it. Okay, that was much faster than I was expecting. But yeah, the aggressive deck, the aggressive deck is just, just super powerful. Ooh, achievement unlocked fighter. That must mean that uh, finish the game with uh, the aggressive deck. I haven't finished it with the aggressive deck either. That's strange. I really thought I had. Maybe I haven't finished it with any of the basic decks then. Huh. That's a possibility. Hey, ooh, did we get a... Ooh, we actually got, got a new level. What did that unlock? Okay, it unlocked cards that most definitely... Like, we just had 540 kick in our deck. Like, what does, it, what does this mean? Where did it unlock these? They are already unlocked. I don't understand. Please explain this to me if you can. Oh, that's a nice card. That actually draws two cards as well. And three if you upgrade. But yeah, that was it for now. I'm Uncle Carp. This has been Fights in Tight Spaces. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.